Hello, I'm Shyla Damji from Markham, Ontario, Canada. I'm a certified Google trainer. I'm going to answer how do I know what my students see on their screen, which relates to communication and assessment in Google Classroom. This is important because we want to ensure each student feels supported with the learning process and are able to ask questions and receive feedback from their teacher. It is helpful as a teacher to be able to see the student view of Google Classroom to help answer those questions, guide students through where and how to communicate, and turn in their assignments. In this video, I will share what students see on their side of Google Classroom, including viewing and turning in assignments, receiving feedback, resubmitting assignments, and adding a class or private comment in assignments. When a new assignment or post is added to the classroom, a student sees it in a few places. On their stream, which might look differently depending on the class setup, in their to-do section, or under the classwork page, where it may be organized by a specific topic, for example, today's work. This helps students find the assignments that they are supposed to be working on for that specific day. The student would click on View Assignment, if the student has a question about the task, the student has the option to post a class question which will be visible to their peers. They can also use the at mention to tag a specific person, or they can add a private comment if they need further clarification or assistance from their teacher. If the teacher has provided a template in one of the Google tools, slides, sheet, Jamboard, etc., the template would be visible at the top right corner in this case, I've added a Google Doc for the students to use. It is helpful to provide students with a template to support and guide the learning. As a student, I would open the Google Doc and complete the assignment. When I was ready, I can choose to turn in directly within Google Doc by clicking on the gray turn in button, or some may see a mark as done option, depending on whether or not there is an attachment. Alternatively, the student can also turn in the assignment from the classroom page by clicking on the green turn in button, or in this case, a blue hand in button. If the student has supplementary evidence of learning, for example, an image, the student can click on add or create button to include that into their assignment. I'm now going to go to an assignment that the student has already received back from the teacher to show you where the student can view the feedback on their assignment to help improve learning. Here in the Google Doc, you can see the comments by the teacher. The student can choose to make any changes to the assignment. It is important to aim for students to receive feedback and have opportunities to use it while the task and learning is fresh in their minds. Keep in mind, when an assignment is submitted, it is owned by the class teacher. When it's returned to the student, the pupil has ownership again and can make changes and edits as necessary. The student can resubmit an assignment to the teacher by clicking on the Turn In button. The student can also click Unsubmit at any time if they realize that they need to change or add something. Now we know what to do when a student has questions about how to turn in their assignments and view their feedback. Thank you.